Hi, I'm Kathleen K. Merle, and I'm at the beautiful Sparks Gallery. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about my solo show here, Wayfinding in Suspended Times. So in 2019, I was asked to be part of a museum show, and I had a bit of time uh, to consider what I wanted to uh, approach this th the theme, which was now. And there was so much going on uh, politically, culturally, socially in 2019, and then 2020 hit um, COVID. So the first time um, I had done a uh, reverse painted uh, uh, piece of work was um, several years back, and it was just one that was experimental, and it sold right away. And I really like the process because it allows you to look through and uh, several layers of work and then also to see um, something unexpected and have a little bit of a three-dimensional look. So when I was making the work for the museum show, I um, had also at that time, because COVID had hit by then and I was in isolation, I had read a book called Overstory by Richard Powers and it's a Pulitzer Prize winning book um, about trees and nature and our connection to um, the earth and what's happening to the earth. And from that book, I um, had read a review of the book that was written by Barbara Kingsolver. And I thought it was so interesting uh, the way she talked about Overstory, but then it led me to her book, which was called Flight Behavior, which was about monarchs. So when considering the topic and the theme of what's important now, I can't think of anything that's more important than what's happening with our Earth, with climate change. So um, I decided to use the reverse painting, and I did uh, two paintings. They're both here at Sparks Gallery. I, I do hope you come to see them because they look so different in real life versus um, looking at the, um, the catalog, which is um, also online. But I reverse painted ginkgo leaves, and then I decided to really address the issue of climate change through using the monarch butterfly. And I had to figure that out. It was a lot of engineering and layering uh, plexiglass and how to get the plexiglass to float. And um, it really opened a door for me um, in a creative way that I wanted to try um, the theme and I wanted to try using this process a lot more.